Only poor people pay taxes. How you guys doing today? And welcome back to the channel. Thank you for the likes, thank you for the comments, and thank you for the subscribes. Let's try and get this video to three likes, and let's try and get to 45 subs. So I was on YouTube today and I was watching YouTube. And you you know, you go down the YouTube rabbit hole, you watch one, it leads to another, and next thing you know, you're you're lost. And I came, uh, uh, I stumbled upon this video that said I make a million dollars a month off YouTube. And then he showed his stats or whatever. And he's a pretty big YouTuber. Um, he's probably making twenty dollars every one thousand views, or maybe fifty dollars per one thousand views, because he's doing stuff like this business, which has a higher CPM. As opposed to a blog where you only make like maybe two dollars every one thousand views. So he makes a million dollars a month off YouTube and the interviewer asked him, how do you pay taxes on a million dollars a month? He said he doesn't pay taxes. Immediately I stopped the video, replayed it, interviewer asked, hey, how do you pay taxes? He says, I don't pay taxes because I buy real estate. Pause, telephone, Robert Nichols, he picks up, and I said, Rob, what am I hearing here? And Rob said, you know, it's probably hard to make a million dollars off YouTube, as you know, you're fighting it. But what you can do is, once you buy real estate, you can depreciate the money off the life of the property. But once you sell that property, you have to pay back the depreciation. Hey, Rob, that's Latin to me, bro. Like, what does that even mean? He said, basically, if you buy a house for 100000 you could depreciate stuff off the house, like roof repair. So let's say every 10 years you need a new roof. You could deduct the cost of that off the value of the house. That will depreciate it. You could depreciate the house almost to nothing depending on how skillful your CPA is and what's going on in the house. Well, I gotta, every two years, I gotta buy grass seeds and I gotta buy mulch and I gotta trim down a tree and I gotta buy new windows and I gotta install different codes to keep the house up to code like i don't know like last year these windows were good but those windows are terrible they've come out with a new greener window so now you gotta buy those greener windows and they're more expensive than the last greener window so these all these things they're spray foam you know you used to do the pink panther installation now you're doing spray foam which is an added cost i don't know how long spray foam lasts but if it deteriorates and you got to respray foam the house, you could depreciate that cost. And that's when my mind started to think about Donald Trump. Well, he buys a million dollar or two million dollar unit. There's a bunch of people living in it. So he's just depreciating every single unit wear and tear on the house. So yeah, it's, he paid two million for it, but after he depreciated over 27 years, the place is worth nothing. Rent stays the same, but the value of the property is down, so you're gonna pay less taxes. You getting what I'm putting down? He depreciates the value of his house or properties so he pays less taxes. So that is why he's a billionaire, but he only pays $700 in taxes. 
technically he's not doing anything wrong. This was put in place by President Obama. It's called the Obama loophole. Joe Biden was the vice president at the time. So the Democrats are talking, this guy doesn't pay his taxes. Well, you guys are the ones that put the policy in place for corporations to use these loopholes in real estate deals. Trump is just basically playing along with your rules. But now you don't like him. You, you say he's doing something wrong. I'm not a Trump supporter, not a Biden supporter. This is just financial news, real estate news. Uh, this is not a politics station. I'm just giving you the straight facts. Then you could do your own reading and come up with your own conclusion, whether who's right, who's wrong. So then I went down another wormhole, Jeff Bezos. He doesn't pay any taxes according to the New York Times and Washington, well, not the Washington Post because he owns it, but everybody else. Jeff Bezos buys a warehouse every time he can buy a warehouse. So I own a warehouse. I'm going to depreciate the value of the warehouse because Cedric, the truck driver, keeps on banging into the side of the, the building and I got to buy a new siding. I have floors, lights get destroyed, new roof leaks. So there's all this depreciation that he puts into his taxes at the end of the year, which brings his two trillion zillion dollar profit margin to something manageable, which allows him to pay less taxes. I'm going to close with this. We are all in the wrong industry. What we need to do is get into real estate. These guys are making millions and millions of dollars using loopholes to not pay taxes and nobody says anything while the rest of us, the IRS comes knocking at my door for 30 bucks. They want to throw me in jail for $30, but this guy's making a million dollars a month and he pays no taxes. Why? Because I'm not in the business where I could properly deduct stuff. I could deduct a camera, but a camera is only three grand. Like how much can I depreciate this camera or this boom pole or this light? You know, what am I going to depreciate the camera over? I can't depreciate over 27 years. I only could depreciate over three years. So if I pay three grand for the camera, I could depreciate it a little bit, but technology moves so fast that if I said to the real, my tax guy that I'm depreciating the value of this camera for 27 years, he's going to say, nobody uses technology for 27 years. The maximum is three years. So we're in the wrong business. And this is why I started this channel, because I want all of us to come along. I want all you guys to follow me, save our money, get our first piece of property and get on this bandwagon before the loophole is closed. So now I know I was closing, but I can't close that. So now the loophole is open. New York Times has blown up the spot. Guess what's going to happen? Democrats are going to fix that loophole. What do you do on November 3rd? Yes.